Welcome back, everyone. We hope you have found this to be a very productive morning. It is my pleasure to have on stage with me for our next client spotlight, Jasmine Presson, Chief Strategy Officer of Media Plus North America, and Maria Colon, VP of Marketing and Customer Experience at The Longy. So let's give it, give it up for them. I am really excited to be up here today with a very, very, very fun client spotlight. Um, it's been an incredible morning with some of the best and brightest minds in the out-of-home industry and in marketing. Huge thanks again to Gina, Alicia, Michael, and my co-chairs, Laura, Dave, and Ryan. And I know we're jamming a lot of content into just a few hours, so we only have a little bit of time. So let's jump right into it, and I'm going to introduce these two amazing individuals. Um, it's pretty evident we have a lot of coffee drinkers in this room. So what better topic to talk about this morning than coffee and, of course, out of home. So Maria Colon is the head of marketing and customer experience for DeLonghi North America and has been with the brand for over eight years. And Jasmine Preston is Media Plus chief strategy officer and the lead in the DeLonghi business. Um, prior to Media Plus, Jasmine has spent time at Albert, Mediacom, and UM Worldwide. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. So out of home is clearly having a bit of a rebirth, and I know that's something that excites the both of you too. Why do you think consumers are connecting with out of home now a little bit more post pandemic? Why is this channel so incredibly appealing and by far and away the best media channel out there? Good morning, everyone. Uh, so I think um, really it's appealing to brands and consumers alike and for a lot of the same reasons. So the technology that we're seeing in out of home, specifically digital out of home, um, from a brand perspective, it allows us to tell old, beautiful, compelling stories, but also gives us the flexibility to flex messages. So um, Brian was just talking about coffee. We're in the business of coffee. We can do you know, day parting and talk to you about a morning coffee, and we can even look at seasonality and present a beautiful iced latte on a really hot day. So it gives us the flexibility to tell our stories, but then to the consumer, be really more relevant. So ultimately, it feels like, um, they're discovering the brand versus we're pushing, pushing messages on them. And I think it's also that, um, again, the ability to be beautiful and be immersive, um, as many panelists have already talked about today, in, in real life. Um, you know, I, I personally think, you know, some of the uh, resurgence, if you will, of out of home is driven by the decline in print and us wanting to have a physical place that we are ingesting with our eyes, beautiful imagery. Um, and it's also a really unique channel in that, you know, so much of our world is now, uh, in terms of media consumption, living on our phones. Out of home is not a media channel we're going to and that ads are uh, the toll we're paying to get access to the content we want. It's a, it's a companion coming along with us while we're uh, moving from one place to another. Um, so we, we take the message in in a different kind of way. Awesome, so I think the one thing that we all agree on, and we spoke about this at length while prepping for the call, is how important it is to reach consumers in a place that matters to them. So in saying that, can you give some background on this campaign that you guys ran? And I know we have beautiful visuals, um, that we definitely want to show. What was the strategy and the purpose, and how did you reach the DeLonghi consumer? So the overall strategy, and again, we'll show you some of the content, was really um, Espresso is in its infancy in North America. You know, we sell 30 million, or consumers buy 30 million coffee machines a year, and only a million of those are, are Espresso. So really very much in its infancy. Um, we wanted to, oh, here we go. You see oh. some of the Brad Pitt content going on right there. So we really wanted to have a campaign that was targeting out-of-home consumers of espresso, so those that are going to the cafes, those that are buying ready to drink, and show them that there was a possibility of being able to make this beverage in their home. Um, we also uncovered at that point that there was this tension between consumers really not understanding that they could replicate the beverage in their home easily, um, and really kind of thinking that they had to have barista skills or it wouldn't be the same quality. So we really looked at um, you know, launching a campaign that was very simple in the, in the way that we presented the machine, the overall experience, um, an elevated demonstration, if you will, really focus on you know, the preparation and the enjoyment and, um, and ultimately you know, really kind of just raise all tides for, for the espresso business overall. Yeah, and it, it's part of a full funnel campaign. We're in other channels as well. But again, like reaching people through out of home 
um, gives us that opportunity to reach people where they are having those out-of-home espresso beverage experiences and introduce the idea that they can replicate that at home. Um, as Maria said, the category in terms of like drinking espresso beverages, this is very well developed in, in our country now. Um, Starbucks has done a great job of that. Um, but making it at home is still like a, ooh, can I do it? Um, and so normalizing the idea that the machines are accessible, um, especially normalizing you know, the image right now of these fully automatic machines machines. That's something that not a lot of us have had personal experience with. So seeing it and normalizing it and making it something that feels familiar um, and desirable. I mean, the, the images, I definitely need a coffee after this, but Out of Home is so great. And Jody moderated a fantastic panel earlier with some great creative minds. Out of Home is so incredibly great because of the unlimited creative canvas. And you can do so much with the space. You want to invoke a purchase. And you have the ability to do so via some incredible formats. And I, I love that I'm seeing so many different images here of multiple formats, not just one. Can you speak a bit about the creative messaging used for this campaign, how it resonated with the audience, and how you conveyed the brand to those who are unfamiliar? Yeah, I mean, again, um, we wanted to make sure that DeLonghi was synonymous with espresso and ultimately coffee. So if a consumer is thinking about the best quality coffee, they're, you know, DeLonghi is what comes to mind. Um, in terms of, you know, the creative strategy and the messaging, again, because of the lack of education, awareness, um, we really wanted to make sure that we had something that was simple and that the channel had the right content. So you'll see that, um, well, you won't see because you won't see all of the full funnel content that we had, but we tried to make sure that, you know, for out of home, we did something a little bit more special, maybe a little bit more evocative, a little bit more, um, you know, just different from some of the things that we were doing in some of the other channels. So trying to include Brad, having him um, prepare uh, a beverage in his home, but also being really simplistic about the message, right? So we are um, global leaders uh, in espresso. That's the core competency of our company. Um, so we wanted to insert ourselves in that conversation, but really at the end of the day, we just wanted a consumer to understand this is an espresso machine. You can make it in your home. You can have a beautiful cappuccino at the touch of a button. And at the end of the day, Delonghi is the one that makes espresso right. So espresso made right was the creative strategy and it was mainly to be very, you know, single-minded focused. And how do you, like, create an experience for you're out of home? Like, let's talk about the connected system. I know we just spoke about awareness, but how do you ultimately create this experience within out of home? Sure. No, no. <laughs> um, so it, it's, it's two components. Like, we're really looking at taking, how do we take the experience of the brand, the experience of the machine, that combination of, like, form and function, and make that be part of the experience of um, the advertising? So there's a combination of, you know, these big, beautiful boards, a lot of use of video, uh, a heavy leaning into digital boards, um, and then connecting that with um, retargeting. We, we actually have a, a partner we work with that allows us to retarget um, digitally people who have passed by the like exact location out of our of our out of home placements um, and building frequency through you know bus shelters and and having that combination of these really big impactful things that give you that feeling of like the beauty of the product um, as well as you know taking kind of like the, the, the technology inside it, the everyday routine you're going to develop with the product um, and replicating that in, in the frequency of seeing the ads. So Maria, I know that for DeLonghi, the relationship the brand has with its retail partners is incredibly important. Can you touch on that a bit and how you incorporated um, them into this brand campaign? Yeah, um, I think we can both take that too. Um, Sorry. So for, no, so for us, it's really, you know, we, we sell direct, so we have our own e-commerce site, but ultimately we want everyone in here to have a DeLonghi machine. It really doesn't matter where you buy it. So we've got incredibly strong relationships with our retail partners, and we really tried to add that, um, you know, added value as a partner to show them that we're not only selling them a machine, right? So ultimately we want to sell an experience, but we're also generating demand for them. So we include them in our national campaigns. Um, maybe not every single, you know, component, every single channel, but for sure an out of home, we'll tag them. So I think it, you know, it not only serves the consumer to know where they can purchase and see, okay, DeLonghi, they're at, you know, a Best Buy, a William Sonoma, uh, all these different places. Um, but also it, it just adds value and it helps build and strengthen those relationships on the retailer side. Yeah, and the, the footprint, the physical footprint of those retail partners was a very big consideration in our out-of-home placements. Um, we literally looked at which, which of our retail partners are in what kind of mileage radius of every single out-of-home placement that we were choosing to ensure that there, there was that ability not only to buy on our .com, buy online, search, add 
you know, the search ads and this and that and such, but also that there is that proximity to physical retail um, so that people can see the machine um, and that we're really like, delivering our ads to an audience that both makes sense from, you know, over indexing for espresso, beverage, consumption, and all that good data stuff, um, but also has the physical availability um, to be able to go interact with the machine and purchase the machine. All right, so as we wind down, typical cliche question, but everyone in this room, this is what, what inspires us, this is what gets us really all thinking. So I want to know, like, as we head into the new year, why are you excited for 2023 as it relates to the brand and out of home, and what is particularly on your out of home bucket list to do down the road? So we are going to continue to invest in out of home, um, significantly more in 23 actually, and we're looking at, you know, I think it was mentioned before in one of the panels, um, just more impactful kind of digital units. We really wanna be in your face with beautiful content, uh, you know, beautiful beans falling, this amazing cappuccino and of course, Brad Pitt. Um, so we definitely want to take advantage of the canvas that's available and the technology that's becoming more accessible. But on my bucket list um, is really kind of to bring uh, home out of home and experiential. So it's one thing to see that beautiful cappuccino on a, on a you know, Times Square billboard. It's completely different to be able to walk right in front of it and get that cappuccino yourself and be able to taste it. So really kind of marrying experiential with out of home. That's what I'd love to do. Love it. Jasmine? Um, you know, I think there's such untapped territory or like user, I, I think we're waiting for user behavior to, to, to catch up in terms of what's possible with augmented reality and that interaction between screens, um, and whether that's, you know, an out of home screen and, and my phone. Um, and there's, you know, like we're getting there in terms of using QR codes and this and that. And I, I feel like it's a bit chicken egg um, in terms of consumers needing uh, the, the, the advertiser who's gonna create the right amazing experience that gets their phone up, gets their phone out, and makes them realize what's possible so that then they start like lifting their phone for every out of home ad, I mean, not, not while they're driving, um, but, but you know, in, in walking spaces and transit and such, um, and, and get to the point where consumers have the expectation that there is another layer of interaction or a unique experience on the website or something that's gonna come with every out of home ad. Awesome. Well, I want to thank both Maria and Jasmine for joining me on stage today. This was an absolute blast. And I think I speak for everyone in this room when I say that I can't wait to see how the brand continues to weave out of home into its media mix. And looking forward to many more visually stunning campaigns with Brad Pitt down the road. So thank you both very much. And thank, you for having us. thank you for having us.